today we are going to talk about roles and permissions. In this video, I will try to cover roles and the second video will be about permissions. Lots of companies are not taking advantage of roles and permissions. And the result is that their employees are able to access sensitive information. Their employees sometime will copy the information and will sell it to the competition. And I saw it multiple times. And there were lots of cases that employees took the information, opened their own companies and contacted those companies. So roles and permissions is an extremely sensitive topic that most companies don't want to spend the time and do it, which I think is total stupid, but I will teach it anyway. So on this uh, YouTube video, I am going to create a short section of the roles and there will be another video for permissions. I am not going to dive into all the details because it's just a YouTube video. If you will find this video helpful, I will really appreciate that you will give it a thumbs up. It helps me personally with my uh, YouTube ranking and it will also help other people access this video. If you own my Zo CRM course, you, you have access to the full video with everything. So let's, let's start. We are going to start, as I said before, with the roles. So you will need to click on the right top on the settings and then you will need to click on security control. In the profile section, you can see all the different profiles and permissions that you allow for each employee or each uh, uh, category of employees and we'll touch it later on. And the roles will be the hierarchy of your organization. And in this lesson, lesson we're going to talk about the roles. As you can see here, my company or this company is coming as out of the box. This is how Zo providing you the roles permission and you will have the CEO at the top and below the CEO you will have a manager. But as you can see here, it's not really a structure of a company because a CEO and a manager cannot really operate. Lots of companies will not set up the roles and permissions because they will say that the same person that is the CEO is also the employee because let's say it's a one man show or two or three. But if you think that your company will grow up at one point to be a bigger company, then you will need to set up the proper roles that you will have in the future. So whenever you grow, you have a place to grow. Okay. Now the, the idea of roles, it's, a way to see the hierarchy of the company and to provide permissions to content. So let's assume that we have a small company and the company will have a CEO, the person who runs the business. We will have some kind of, let's have here a, a content manager. So we are going to have a, a marketing company. So the second layer will be a content manager. So let's click on the pencil. Let's change it to content manager. Perfect. And below the content, content manager, I will have the writer. Now, this is the hierarchy that I just created. The CEO is on the top, he can see everything below this hierarchy. You have the content manager that can see himself and the writer below him and the writer can see only himself. So if the writer created a document, this document will be visible to the content manager and the CEO. And if the content manager created the document, it will be accessible only to the CEO and the content manager, but not to the writer. So this hierarchy is also helping you understand the hierarchy of the organization, but in the same time, it also helps you create the hierarchy 
of access to content. Let's take another example. Let's say that instead of a content manager, that will be, let's say, a broker in a company, a broker in, in a, uh, a real estate company. And below the broker, you will have agents. Let's change that to agents. Now, when the agent is registering a deal, I don't want other agents to see it. So if one agent creates a deal, only the same agent can access the deal. And also his broker. But the rest of the agents will not be able to see it. Okay? So that was a, a, a basic overview of, of the rules. Take advantage, advantage of it. Uh, it's painful to see emails that's coming in from business owners that got hurt by employees. It's, it's, it's really painful. It will take you about half hour to, to, to create your hierarchy and create the proper, proper permissions and roles. Take advantage of it. Do it. Okay. So thank you very much for, for watching this session. I really appreciate you taking the time. In the next video, I will provide more information about permissions.